Awesome. So now let's start building the home.dart file. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to return a scaffold widget. So let's replace the text widget with a scaffold. And we're going to set the body of the scaffold to be a container. And in this de de uh, container, we're going to have a decoration. And this is going to have a box decoration. And inside this box decoration, we're going to set the gradient property to linear gradient. And similar to every other gradient we've made in this course, we're going to do begin alignment top center and alignment bottom center. And stops 0 0.04 and 1. And then the colors will be a list color 0x11232 526 and the next color will be color 0xff232526 all right now we'll add a comma make it look better all right cool so now we can see our linear gradient now let's add on to this container by adding a child and this child is going to be a container and we're going to have a padding of edge insets dot symmetric and this will be horizontal 24 now we're going to add a column widget as its child so let's do that and in this column we'll set the cross axis alignment to cross axis alignment dot center and then we'll start setting the children widget and all right now we can add our text so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a size box and this is going to be of height 40 and then we'll have a text and this one's going to say text generator and we'll add a style to this text It'll be text style color colors dot white font weight font weight dot bold and then font size will be 35 all right now we'll add a sub text to this text so uh, we'll create a new text widget and we'll call this one image to text generator and this is going to take a style parameter of text style color colors dot white font size will be 18 and then font weight will be font weight dot bold all right awesome so we've done that now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put our image here so let's do that But before we do that, we're going to put our image inside of a container. So similar to our last app, where we have a white container where we put all of our buttons and the image. So let's do that. So after this text widget, we'll have a size box and this is going to be of height 30. And after the size box, we'll have a container and this is going to be of height media query dot of context dot size dot uh, height minus 250 and then we'll have a padding of edge insets dot all 30 all right and then decoration will be box decoration color colors dot white border radius 
border radius dot circular 30. All right, beautiful. Now let's add a box shadow to this container just to make it look nicer. So uh, right below border radius, let's add a box shadow parameter. And this is going to take an open square bra bracket and we'll set it to a box shadow widget. And this is going to be color, colors dot black with opacity and then 0.5. And then the spread radius will be five and the blur radius will be seven. All right, beautiful. Awesome, looks good. Now let's add our image, but we'll do that in the next lecture. I think we've done enough for now. Now in the next lecture, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add an image here and we're gonna add three buttons here, similar to the final app that we saw in the last lecture. So I'll see you guys there. Uh, just keep going. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please make sure to let it uh, leave it in the comment section. But I'll see you guys there. All right, so now let's start filling in the content inside this container. So the content will be an image right here and then three buttons right here to give you the option of choosing a live caption generator, a take a photo, caption generator or a take a photo from gallery caption generator so the uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go after this box decoration and we're going to set a child parameter and this child parameter is going to take in a column widget and a children and then in this children we'll set a center and in the center we'll have another child of container and this container is going to be of width 500 and it's going to have a child a, of column and then we'll have another children and there you go so now inside this children parameter we're going to set a size box widget and this is going to be of height 50. after that we will have a container and this will be a width of 100 and a child will be of image asset and then our assets image so inside our assets folder we have an image called notepad.png all right so now we get our image so the next thing we have to do is add our buttons so the first thing we're going to do is add a size box after this image and this will be of height 30 and then we'll have a container and this container will be of width media query dot of context dot size dot width and then we will have a child parameter which will take in a column widget and children parameter and we'll have a gesture detector and on tap we'll do this function later um, but its child will be a container of width media query dot of context dot size dot width minus 180 and then the alignment will be alignment dot center the padding will be edge insets dot symmetric and we will set horizontal to 24 and vertical to 17. all right now we'll set a decoration for this container and this will be a box decoration of color color 0x f f 5 6 a b 2 f and the border radius will be border radius dot circular beautiful and then six all right so 
let's just add a child and this child will be a text and then we're just going to copy and paste this button and we'll just change a couple details so the first thing we're going to do is add a text to this container so child text live live camera and then the style will be text style color colors dot white and font size 18 beautiful all right so that's exactly what we want now let's just copy and paste this container let me just make sure so, uh, we want this container right here and it goes over here so let's just copy and paste that paste paste beautiful now we have three buttons uh, let's just make sure we put a size box in between them but we'll change it to let's do five yeah five is good so and then one here all right beautiful now let's change these text this one will be take a photo and then just make it look nicer and then uh, camera roll all right beautiful so now we have the basic UI for our app so the next thing we're gonna work on is when the user presses one of these buttons we'll bring them to the appropriate um, page so for the live camera we'll bring them to a new screen and in this screen it will show them a camera preview and our captions will be generating every five seconds and our camera roll and take a photo will stay in this container except we're gonna have a loading variable and we're gonna um, set if loading is true show this image else if it's false show our image and show the result text all right so um, that's what we're going to work on in the next lecture. I'll see you guys there. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let it know. Please, please let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer it. So see you guys there.